episode, we're going to look at upgrading our Ruby on Rails version of an existing application. And if your application is keeping up with the latest version of Ruby on Rails, then upgrading to the next version as soon as it's released, it could be a problemsome task. However, in this episode, we're going to look at a few things that can make your experience with upgrading to a newer Rails version a bit easier. And if you haven't already checked out the guides on rubyonrails.org, I highly recommend it because it's going to give you a lot of different scenarios upgrading from Rails 5.1 to 5.2, from 5.0 to 5.1, and even from older versions like Rails 4.2 to Rails 5.0. And with this, regardless of this episode, I definitely recommend reading these to see which version are you jumping from to see what kind of changes that you might need to make that's specific for the version that you're on to the version that you're going to. And one example is going from Rails 4.2, you didn't have this Ruby requirement of having Ruby 2.2 or later. Visit drifttoruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership for access to this full episode and more videos.